Nestled between the peaks of the Andes Mountains lies the city of Medellin. Its climate is constant all year and is known as the city of eternal spring. But for a growing number of the population, the spring is quickly fading to winter, and the city of Medellin, a nightmare from which they cannot wake. Night creeps upon the city, as though a silent call sounded. The addicted, the hungry, gather on the street whose name describes the life many have lived, Hell Street. Each of the homeless tells their own tale. The night before, I hadn't slept, felt hungry or even lonely because I was high on drugs. After three years of drug use, I find myself living on the streets and waking up to a life I don't think I'll ever escape. There are times I want to die from an overdose because my life has no meaning or purpose. Luis Alfonso Tapasco. Another man, Ricardo, witnessed the assassination of his father when he was four. He began sniffing his troubles away when he reached the age of five. At 19 years old, the only schooling he's had is in violence and dealing drugs. As though diamonds in the rough, unless someone finds and polishes them, their true value will never be seen. There is one who sees their value. God has burdened the heart of Douglas Calvano to found a ministry that directly impacts the lives and futures of the homeless. Its name represents what it is to them, City of Refuge. There are several aspects to its ministry, a homeless feeding program, a shelter, a rehab program, and a single mother's home. Currently, the refuge is relocating its offices and ministries to a new building that will accommodate more men and women desiring to leave their addictions and the streets behind. Though the City of Refuge has low recidivism rates, its effectiveness is truly measured in the change of the men. I came to a place I had been seeking for a very long time. I found Jesus. I found life, peace, and a purpose. The night City of Refuge brought Ricardo food was the same night he accepted Christ in his life. He now works at a church, is married with a two-year-old daughter, and hasn't gone back to drugs. Tomorrow, a team of missionaries will be taking off for Colombia to uphold the hands of those continuing to work in Medellin. Please keep the team and the city in your prayers.